We are back at 651. It is a first alert day today. A beautiful looking morning though as we check out our live view here over downtown from the hilltop. The sun is out and hey, it's not too humid yet. Get out and enjoy your cup of coffee on the porch or uh, outdoors this morning if you can because by later this afternoon you're going to notice the humidity. It's going to feel like one of those days where we eh, might have a little something going on and that's definitely the case. First alert day for severe storms later this afternoon into this evening. And we actually have a couple of stronger storms already to our northwest this morning. 63 south wind at 6, the dew point still at 53, but we're going to crank it into the mid to upper 60s here by later this afternoon. And if you remember, we haven't had a lot of this heat and humidity so far this year, but once that dew point gets to 60, that's when it starts to feel a little lech. So uh, get ready for that. 66 in St. Peter right now. We're at 64 Redwood Falls, 66 in Wyndham. Fairmont and Blue are still hanging in there at 60 degrees and here is that severe risk today best chance north Brainerd to the uh, international border but we do have the potential for strong storms hail is the main threat damaging wind gusts and yes there could be a couple tornadoes with storms that develop today we already have a severe thunderstorm warning in effect for uh, Chippewa Lacquaparle County these storms continue to move east and if they keep going like they are they're going to skirt just uh, south of the Wilmer area but main threat with these and these are Lowest criteria severe thunderstorm mornings is a quarter hail, wind gusts less than 50 miles per hour with these. But I mentioned it's going to feel hot and sticky today. 86 Mankato, 87 in Fairmont. We're going to get to 91 for a high today in Marshall. And the dew point is going to climb. We're in the 50s. Nice and comfortable now. But look at this. By 1, 2, 3, 4 o'clock, up it goes into the upper 60s by later this afternoon. So let's go through this hour by hour today. Showers and thunderstorms are going to continue this morning, pushing eastward. Uh, we may see some north of Redwood Falls over into uh, Sibley County by later this morning. Here we are at uh, around noon today. We're going to see this first little wave go through. We have another line that's going to develop around midday to our west, and that is going to slide southeast through the day today. And we're going to watch with this is for individual loner cells that are just kind of hanging out there. Those could strengthen and quickly become severe. So today have your keyc first alert weather app handy have it ready to go it'll alert you we'll be watching we'll be sending updates and we'll have the latest throughout the day just check the weather check it often be prepared because these storms could develop and move in quickly so from noon to two o'clock thunderstorms push eastward and again some of those could be doozies hail and wind isolated tornadoes possible a few more storms later this afternoon and then depending on what happens today with the earlier storms when you get into a situation like today, what happens usually depends on how the storms earlier in the day act. And so that's going to be a thing. But we'll be watching by 6, 7 o'clock, a few more storms could develop. And then it's possible we could see another line by mid-evening uh, moving through as well. So there is going to be a lot going on today. Uh, we will be watching things closely. Just stay tuned, stay alert, and uh, check the weather often. That's the most important thing you can do on a day like today. And uh, make sure your kids are aware too, especially if they are going to be home alone today. Uh, be sure that they're aware that there could be some storms and make sure they know where to go and what to do because storms could actually start to develop and become severe by early afternoon. 86 today, warm and humid on a first alert day. Some storms severe. Tomorrow and Friday, behind the system, it's going to be cooler and more comfortable with highs right around 80. We're actually looking forward to a really nice couple of days. And then into the weekend, we're back at it again. Heat, humidity, especially on Sunday. There could be a few stronger storms on Sunday. And uh, over the weekend, there could be some storms with some heavy rain. We're going to be watching that closely. If you have outdoor plans, there will be dry time and some sunshine this weekend, but we'll be dodging scattered storms, and that'll be the case. Pretty active pattern here through most of next week. First alert day. Be weather aware. Today it is 6.55. We have to take a little break. We'll be back right after this. This 10-day weather forecast is brought to you by Belter Window Siding and Roofing. B-O-E-L-T-E-R. Belter is better.